Hello guys, uh, we are able to push Maven artifacts to Nexus but we are not segregating them into release and snapshot. Release and uh, snapshot is Maven convention. Uh, the idea is if any of the version is ending with snapshot, it is snapshot version. Snapshot in sense, this is currently in development. And if we take out snapshot extension to the version, it actually mean its release version, it is ready to release. And there won't be any more changes to same release version in future. In case if this release has any defects, that's going to be fixed in the next version, but not in the same version. And one more thing to notice, we have created simple app release repository. Uh, this repository will accept okay, the versions, basically release versions. So in case of uh, continuous integration in DevOps, if I try to push same version second time, this will reject and our build gets failed. I mean to say when our sprint is active and new features are added by different developers and we have continuous integration going on. So usually that happens on a single version, correct? When we start a new sprint, we will mark this new version as a snapshot. Say if we are a starting new sprint, which is let's say 3.0. And when we begin new sprint, we need to mark it as snapshot because if I don't mark it as snapshot, if I build this same version three times or four times, what happens here? It is actually landing into release version and in Nexus release version, once you push, let's say 3.0.0, when you again push next time, it fails. Let me show that in action. Let's log into our Jenkins machine. Let me, okay, open our uh, simple app, go to configure, all right, so we are pulling out our application from here. Uh, let's open POM file, see current version here is 2.0.0, .0. this version is already there in our uh, release right 2.0.0 if I build this application again if I build this application again if you see our Jenkins file it is pushing that to release right it's pushing that to release I said 2.0.0 is already there in our release Second time, if I push same version, it won't accept. Let's try to do that by building this job. Let's build it. See that build got failed. Uploading this version got failed. Okay. It says the specific repository we're uploading it doesn't allow for updating assets. Right. So when we have a new sprint, when we have a new sprint in pom.xml, what we have to do is we have to make this as a snapshot such that, such that uh, in my Jenkins file, what I will do is, what I will do is, if it is snapshot, I will point this one to snapshot. In case of snapshot, it accepts multiple snapshots of same version. So when we are in development, we will not change the version for every new build, correct? 
So the version will only change when we start a new release. But for this release, whatever version we incremented, that remains the same until we complete and release this uh, to the customer. So when we begin a new sprint, we will make version as snapshot in pom.xml number one and we will push those versions to snapshot not to the release okay let me go over our nexus go to settings repositories along with release i need a repository for snapshots it should be maven hosted let's name that uh, snapshot so version policy it is a snapshot so I'm, I want to leave other details as default and create this repository I want to use this specific repository for storing my snapshot versions good coming back to our Jenkins pipeline job right so I need to dynamically decide where my artifact should go if it is release it should go to release if it is snapshot it should go to snapshot so under this script okay so from maven i can read the version i'll say nexus repo name equals See that yeah, I will check if version ends with snapshot. I'm using ternary operator. If version ends with snapshot, I need to return snapshot repository name, else, I need to return release repository name. Okay. See if it is ending with snapshot, it has to be snapshot, otherwise, it has to be release. Now, take that information, pass it here. We fixed our uh, Jenkins pipeline code. Let's assume we are starting new sprint, which is 3.3.0. So until this sprint completes, I will maintain this as a snapshot such that in my logic, I'm checking for the version ends with snapshot. If it is true, I will push my artifacts to snapshot because snapshot accepts multiple snapshots of same version. So once I am done with my sprint activities, once it is tested and ready for release, we need to remove this snapshot and such that the same code will use release version and it uploads artifacts to release repository. All right, our uh, Jenkins pipeline code got changed and also we are starting a uh, new release and that new release is 3.0.0 snapshot. Let's push this code to our uh, uh, Git repository and trigger the job and make sure what we implemented is working according to our requirements. Let's open the terminal. I would straight away say git add Jenkins and Let me call this snapshot fix and push it. Now let me cross check our uh, implementations there. Yeah. So go back to our uh, Jenkins job, build it because uh, version is ending with snapshot. Obviously, the artifacts needs to be pushed to snapshot. 
Now build got success. Let me take you through Nexus. Go to browse. Check simple app snapshot. You could notice that 3.0.0 appended with a timestamp. Uh, if I do a next build also, which will have 3.0.0 as a snapshot version, it won't fail. Build. So that's how we usually deal with snapshot versions in real time. It got succeeded again. You refresh and you see there is one more snapshot of 3.0.0 which is appended with some sort of timestamp there. So after we finish all our sprint activities, we need to remove that snapshot which becomes release and this version gets into release repository. So release should contain only the artifacts which are ready to release and which will never change. I mean, the same version will never change again. If there are defects in same version, we need to come up with something like this and push it again to the release version.